So hi everybody, I'm Slim Anthem. Obviously most of you probably recognize me from Anthem News and all that. And this is my channel if you haven't really, if you're not really one of the original people that were um, here, like you just joined or something. But um, this is a new show I like to call Talking Points. And what it's about is every week that I do this, I'm going to be making a video where I'm just going to be talking about a specific subject and this is just coming from my perspective of things like you may disagree with it but heck I understand that everyone has their different opinions but let me just elaborate on like my kind of deal with stuff and that's that um, so yeah this a lot of people are your, a lot of people here are probably going to be thinking Hey, this is a lot like um, Anthem News. Well, it's kind of different because Anthem News is more like a weekly recap and like, hey, this these video games are new to be released and all that, so you guys should be interested in looking at them. But um, this is more of a show where I just kind of talk about what's on my mind and it kind of some sometimes I'll probably get carried away with like arguing and all that stuff, but I'm here to set the record straight on some things that I think are a problem and that's that. So this episode is about angry YouTube comments. One thing that I know strikes big in people's hearts is apparently it's life or death for them to comment and talk shit on everybody's via everybody's videos on YouTube. And as for someone who's been watching YouTube videos since um, since late grade school, it's like, really? I mean, I watch comments from videos go from from like from the positive kind of side to like the negative side in just a matter of a few years. Because as it turns out, like most people that comment on videos are little kids, and to be honest, they probably shouldn't be on an Xbox. Shouldn't be on Xbox, shouldn't be on YouTube in the first place. So, yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of dumbfounded by how a lot of people just like to talk crap on people's videos, even though there really wasn't anything wrong. I understand if they point out stuff like, hey, you made like a error here, like for example, someone could say like, Batman kills the Joker, or he could say something like, Batman fights the Joker in the third Dark Knight movie, I'm like, and someone can say, no, he actually did that in the second one, that was the Dark Knight. So, I mean, it can be something as simple as that, and I'd be fine with it, but when it, when it talks about, like, criticizing another person's work, when, when people just go, like, when someone criticizes another person's work, that they've worked so hard on doing, it kind of really stings to me because it's like, wow, so you're really going to badmouth another person just because they were willing to take the time and make free entertainment for you to watch. No one said that you had to be a jerk to them. So, here's a video here we're going to be looking at. As you may have been well known, Tony Hawk um, Pro Skater 5 you guys probably see where this is going. Um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 is being released late September. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disagree. I mean the physics do look kind of um do look kinda look bad, so I mean obviously I haven't played the game. The phys the physics do look bad. They don't look realistic in any way. But um I'm willing to play because I've been a Tony Hawk fan for all my life and and I want to show my support to Birdman, Tony Hawk, if you didn't know that the Birdman is Tony Hawk. So here's a comment someone put for the video. The physics are the same as Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD, they look like fucking shit. Robomoto need, need to take a leaf out of the original games and replicate it in the new games. It's hard to see Tony thinking this is good. Okay, now some of you may think I overreacted to re responding to this guy, but 
but literally the keywords that got me here was he could have said the physics he could have said the physics looked bad but instead he said they look like fucking shit so that that immediately raised a flag to me and then and then he says it's hard to see Tony thinking this is good well Tony just said himself in a in an interview that the, that the uh, developers of the game worked hard on it and not just that but he, they worked hard on the soundtrack too because that plays a very big part in the game so let's let's scroll down here a little bit to where I first respond okay so my first comment was what are you a critic just because the game doesn't look as good as the others doesn't mean you have to criticize our work so right there I'm just I'm just talking to him and saying like hey you kinda of stepping over the line there buddy so we will see what the follow-up reply is some guy named Victor Donozo says hey Staley as you have done yourself you don't know the guy but you already tagged him so as a consumer and audience anyone can criticize whatever they feel like okay here's what's wrong with his statement one I didn't tag him because he says tagged because if you look here when I say what are you a critic do you see the plus in his name I don't think so so that guy's wrong because I did not tag him in any way and um, and he said anyone can criticize whatever they feel like well there's a certain point where you're crossing the line when you when you criticize another person's work and then another guy tagged along and tagged me and said it said Stay the nation and then what question mark okay um, so my reply to Victor Donozo was responding to the original guy who posted his chain of comments I didn't tag anyone in my previous comment as you can see and then um, and then Victor Donozo replied to me saying saying tag and then put colon and then in quotation marks put what are you a critic question mark and then he says it's classifying, tagging, naming. And here's my rebuttal to that. I said, you missed the question mark at the end. It was a question, not a statement. I wasn't calling him a critic. I was asking if he was. I don't understand why you're making a big deal out of this anyway. I made a harmless comment letting him know that the game developers worked hard on, the, on this game and that it is disrespectful to speak, such hard, to speak so harsh on the matter. I understand everyone is entitled to free speech, but eventually there's a point where it crosses the line. He could have said he was not interested in the game, but instead he decided to lose his mind and respond inappropriately and disrespectful. His words. The physics the, the physics are the same as Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD. They look like fucking shit. He could have stopped after Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD, and it would have been enough. So your comment about, as a consumer and audience, anyone can criticize whatever they feel like is wrong because there actually is a line that can be crossed in which the response can go too far and be disrespectful so you guys might actually agree with that because literally there's a point where it's crossing the line and it's like hey it could be like a threat or something and it'd be like hey this game looks like fucking shit you should go hang yourself now that's definitely crossing the line right there Okay, and then this is where, this is the bulk of the argument where I get in an argument with some guy named Mike Slez or something like that. And then he says, he says this. One, you don't know that the game developers worked hard. Two, it's, it's disrespectful of the franchise to let them keep making games with shit physics. And then, um, here is my reply to him. I guarantee you don't know what it is like to design a game. Game. It takes a lot of skill and time to create. Be thankful that that they are still making another game. See? That's just the grown-up way of handling this. Be thankful for 
for the fact that they're making another game. Nothing harmless about that at all. And then this is what he says. Right, I have been playing them for 40 years without learning anything about the industry at all. They are all witchcraft to me. Look, you do not know they worked hard. A lot of developers these days spend more time eating muffins and playing ping pong than actually working. They have eternity leave for feckin' men. Feckin' men? Having played their previous game, I can safely say the physics did suck more than the originals, so they clearly didn't spend that much time on it. Or they are fairly inept. You choose. You seem... You seem to think you are all knowing. This was a sterling franchise at one point before they started putting douchebags like douchebags like Bam in the game. To make games that don't live up to the greatness of the original four is not acceptable. If Robo Moto can't deliver, someone else should be making the game. I like to point out, by the way, that he says that he's been playing video games for 40 years. And if he knows enough about Tony Hawk, then he should know that BAM was put in the game before the original 4 was completed. He was placed in the game in Pro Skater 3, and in fact, nobody had any lines like to speak at all until Pro Skater 4. So he's going to bring that up later on. But, um, yeah, this guy is just a serious douchebag. Okay, so here's my reply. Well, you obviously are not a true Tony Hawk fan then. A true loyal Tony Hawk fan would appreciate the quality of the game no matter what, and not bitch about it like you. By the way, BAM was added in the game in Pro Skater 3 FYI, and I know they have worked hard on the game because Tony Hawk was, has talked about it in an interview. So if you can't learn to appreciate the work of a company and the franchise of, fit, famous, of a famous video game series, or players from the game, then go complain somewhere else. It's people like you that need to learn man manners and be thankful and greedy. I meant to just put, be thankful and not greedy. But I accidentally missed that part. Um, no wonder this country is screwed. Everyone just wants things to go their way and not care to be thankful. Well, I'm, well I'll leave you be, I'll leave you be, well, I'll let you be, well, I'll let you go back to complaining about your overcooked hamburger at a restaurant. See, I just handled it the most grown way as possible. So that was my that was my out, and I just left the conversation. But instead, they wanted to sink to my they wanted to keep sinking and.